YouTube T9 here. Like mentioned in the video before, uh, when I did my Kershaw Blur review, I mentioned that there was another item that I was going to take camping this weekend to put really to the test and really uh, wear out when I'm out there in the sticks somewhere. Not really sticks, but out camping. Um, and that item is no other item than the uh, Sock Creed. outdoor you may call it outdoor survival wilderness blade I'm calling it a perfection by SOG especially when it comes to a survival blade that can fulfill multi-tasks why did I choose this blade you might ask and the answer is first off when I first saw this on I think it was nothing fancy's video. Um, I just need I needed to know who sells it. I just wanted one. Why? Because I really like the satin finish on this. I like the black and white handle. The size of it. Just the looks of it. The belly on it. Just awesome. It, it looks great. Now let's talk more about practicality what am I gonna do with this blade um, what am I gonna do with this blade that I cannot do let me set this down with this Kershaw blur well let me tell you guys it's quite simple um, I really wanna just try some things that you come across in uh, being for example stuck in the wilderness uh, so trying to survive shelter building that sort of thing and these style of outdoor knives these style of uh, survival blades are made for quite a few things and i'm just going to mention a few i'm not a big expert i'm just getting to know these things um let's talk about chopping down a small tree uh, um, some branches for shelter or firewood so with a big heavy blade like this chopping being able to chop comes in handy. Um, trying to find firewood. Once you gather firewood, cutting bigger chunks into small kindling, how would I do that? Well, I can tell you guys, this is called batoning, where you take a piece of thicker wood, set the big blade on top, and then use another chunk to hit on top. Maybe may a uh, another log a piece of wood some people even use rocks hit on top to split it in half and split it even smaller it's it's those are the things I'm gonna gonna try out later on um, so this blade comes in handy when it comes to uh, cutting down wood cutting chopping down wood in smaller pieces uh, shaving wood to make a fire starter this is a multi-tool the things I've just mentioned is people might say why don't you just use an axe why don't you just use a saw well that's just two more items you would have to carry along and sometimes you can't foresee when being stuck outdoors uh, sometimes you just need only one knife this one knife can fill the role of a knife it can fulfill the role of an axe a saw and a smaller knife. Let's talk a little bit about the size and um, numbers on this saw creed. Let me put this cursor aside here. Um, the blade, seven and a half inches long. Well balanced too. I mean, I can hold it on my finger and I don't want to cut myself, but it, it balances well, it feels good. So the blade is a satin finish, ASU-8 stainless steel, 7.5 inches long, the overall length is 12 inches, um, it feels really good. The handle is a rubberized finish, it's, they call it um, tough Creighton rubber handle, let me give you guys a close up real quick here. I 
I also really like the uh, two white lines, just the aesthetics on this, it looks great. I mean, I'm gonna probably feel a little bit bad um, taking this out and just going going to town on, on stuff and at camping, but you know, that's what these blades are made for. These, these blades are made for outdoor survival, um, multi-role kind of blade. Um, that's, what else? What did this blade come with? Also, what holds the whole handle together? This, by the way, this don't ask me. This has no meaning. It's just pretty much the uh, the screw, the lock nut that holds this whole handle together. And Sog decided to use this, which just gives it uh, another nice, nice look. Um, I'm probably gonna put some paracord through here. Who knows? Okay, let's let's see what else. The knife came with this leather sheath, which uh, looks great. Looks awesome. Um, there's some ups and downs to leather sheath, to a leather sheath. Um, mainly when it gets wet, it soaks up water. It keeps the water inside, and um, when you put your blade back in, it's you know, it comes in contact with water, and that's not a good thing. Other than that, it's I really like it. I like the snap that holds the blade into place. Let me show you guys this here. There it is. It goes right across the cross guard right here and holds it into place. And that's not going anywhere. Belt loop. This is an awesome, awesome blade. First time I've seen it, I always wanted it. And finally I get a chance to have one and actually get a chance to put it to use. This is a short video. Like mentioned before, I'm not a big expert when it comes to any sort of knife or um, survival blades, that, that sort of thing. Um, but I'm definitely gonna put this to use. I'll maybe make a video, maybe turn the camera on. As you guys can tell, the, the thickness of this on the top here, it's incredible. It's how thick that is. And it's incredibly sharp too. Thickness comes in handy well when it comes to batoning. With my little, I don't know what the hell is this? A little uh, toilet paper roll? No. Napkin roll. So it comes in good when it comes to batoning and chopping. So I, I can't wait to, guys, to show you guys. Um, um, actually, you know what? Why don't we just use this and see how sharp it is coming out of the box. Well, enough set, right? That's pretty sharp. So I'm pretty sure it comes in handy when cutting meat and that sort of thing too. So I'm just a great all-around blade that um like i said i can't wait to put to use let's do a little close up here and definitely soon you will guys uh, see an update video um i'm probably going to take my camera along and show you guys a little bit how this knife does when it comes to batoning chopping uh shaving and that sort of thing. Not shaving my face, but shaving like tree bark and that sort of stuff. Although, I might just do a crocodile dandy and shave my face with it, who knows. Um, I'd be tactical cool like that. Anyways, like I said, short video. Hope you like it. Um, hope I answered any questions you might have. Um, oh yeah, the weight, 12 ounces. Pretty fairly heavy and, and that's good when it comes to these kind of blades because you want to have some momentum behind it when using it but I think I covered everything you cover, can cover on a on a survival blade now it's just a matter of giving it a try putting it to use alright so with that being said T9 signing out thanks for watching